Hello everyone, welcome, welcome Arcana family. We hope you guys are all doing well in these times. My name is Coleman, I'm a facilitator here at Arcana. I'm here living in the Sacred Valley at the Arcana Center in the Sacred Valley. So this video is our first video of the 7P Method of Integration video series. Integration means becoming one, living life with integrity, becoming whole and complete. It also refers to the way we incorporate everything we have learned into our daily lives. The purpose of these videos is to go in depth with each P of integration, offering recommendations, activities, reminders, and advice. Today we will be uh, focusing on the first P, the P of practice. Practice is probably the most important P of them all. If you still have your journal, uh, go back and revise your journal, looking over the notes that you took. And if you don't have your journal, bring yourself back to the time that you were at Arcana. Bring yourself back to that contemplation, what teachings you received, what you have learned, and go over them and revise these teachings that you have received. You know, refresh the teachings and put them into practice. Keep the journey of journaling and contemplation alive in your life. It's the most important part of your integration practice to, to embody the healings and the teachings you have received here in the retreat or in your life after the retreat. Through your practice, you can make everlasting changes in your life. There are many great practices out there, and today we are focusing on just one, the practice of healthy cooking. Eating healthy is a daily discipline, and it helps us to improve our overall state of being. The recipes that we have decided to offer today are simple, delicious, and vegan friendly. Uh, we hope to inspire you guys to also pick up this practice of healthy cooking, healthy eating. It's a wonderful practice and we hope that this video offers some inspiration to you guys. We would also like to encourage you to continue all the other practices that you've picked up or that you've had for most of your life. Keep practicing them with motivation and joy. Whether it's exercising, gardening, meditation, or art, or whatever practices are doing you great. And, the, and also, it's never too late to pick up a new practice, to enjoy a new practice. Keep your mind open, keep your eyes open to, to learning new things, to keeping, to being open to finding new practices. And also, on behalf of Arcana, I'd like to say that we really miss having you guys here a lot, and we're really happy to be able to offer you something as small as this. We're thrilled to be here in service of you guys always, and we hope to be able to welcome you guys once again soon. Thank you. Today we're going to be doing three easy vegan recipes. So we'll be using almonds and bananas. So we're gonna start by making an almond milk and then we'll be making an almond cheese and then a banana ice cream. So the things that you will need for these recipes is a blender, some almonds, raw almonds, uh, like a pitcher, some water, not necessarily a pitcher, a bowl could work as well. And then you'll be wanting a strainer, a cheesecloth, some lime or lemon juice, some salt and some oil. And here I just have like a lemon presser. It's not necessary, but it is handy to use if you have it. So to make the almond milk, it's very simple. Uh, you just take almonds and you blend it with water. And the, you can be very creative with your almond milk. Right now, today, we're gonna be making a very simple one, very basic, straightforward, because we're gonna be making a cheese out of the almonds after. But if you're not planning on making a cheese with it, uh, you know, you can add some honey or you could add some different spices, some kind of chai spices to it. It could be nice. You could also use it as in a purpose for like uh, a cream soup or in a more savory or sorry, sweet way. Whatever you feel, whatever your creativity desires. So anyways, today we'll be making a very simple one for the cheese. So. When you're making an almond cheese, you need to peel the almonds in order to uh, make the cheese. So, so here we have some peeled almonds. Um, it's very simple to peel them. 
you just take your fresh raw almonds and you cover them in boiling water and let them sit in the boiling water for up to half an hour and then the skin loosens up and it makes it very easy to peel so I've left like one almond here to demonstrate this one has been soaking in some boiling water for a good amount of time and you just use kind of your fingernails and the skin comes right off just like this very easy this one was kind of half peeled let's do that really quick there we go so now we'll be doing the almond milk nice and simple we just go with these peeled almonds right into the blender and then with about one cup of almonds is like one liter of water that you want to add. So I have a little bit over a cup, so I'm going to add a little over a liter. Just like that. And then we just want to blend it at a good high speed for about 30 seconds. So there we have it, nice and easy. So now what I'm gonna do is just I have my strainer with my cheesecloth over top and I'm just going to pour right in there. So then you just, after you give it some time to strain, you just want to start to lift up the cheesecloth and close it. Close it up delicately and then you just squeeze the bag to get all the moisture, all the milk out. And you're left with this nice pulp on the inside of the bag that we will be using to make the cheese. So you want to give it a nice squeeze because for the cheese it's better if there isn't some leftover milk. So just about there we have it. So Now I'm just going to take the bag with the pulp inside and just put it onto this plate here. See that? It just turns out very... without making a big mess. Very nice. So now comes... So, firstly, here is our milk that we have stayed, or that we have finished off with. Very simple, very nice. Very nice for a cup of tea, something like that. Very good stuff. Really healthy too. It's high in zinc. Almonds are fairly high in zinc and some other vitamins as well. They're very good for your health. So now, here comes for the fun part of making the cheese. We've got our, our pulp here. And I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil, maybe a little, yeah, like a, a good tablespoon of olive oil, a little pinch of salt, and here I have a very tiny lime, and I'm just going to use half of this small lime, so I would say if you're using a normal lemon or lime, like a, a quarter, a quarter of that. Depends on how you want the taste of your cheese to be. This is, again, a very basic recipe for the cheese. You could always, if you wanted to get more 
experimental with it. You could use like a bit of garlic, um, a bit of pepper, something like that. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to start kind of kneading it, mixing it all together. The oil really helps to bind the cheese together. And if you're having trouble mixing it, like it's not coming together, always just, just add a little bit more oil and that should help you help it come together nicely. So we're just going to kind of form it into like a ball and then we're going to make a nice shape out of it once we get it all nice and binded together. I think I'm just going to add a touch more oil. So I'm just going for like a little cylinder kind of circular shape like a like a nice little goat cheese may come in. This cheese is um it's similar to like a ricotta in the way that it's very soft and delicate. So for me, that's pretty good. And the next step that we want to take with this cheese is just let it sit in the fridge for an hour or two for it just to set very nicely. And we will be showing this cheese again to show you the finished product. So now it's been about an hour that this cheese has been sitting in the fridge and we're just going to cut into it to demonstrate the beauty that lies beneath or within. There we go. Yeah. Very simple, holds up nicely. A little bit of crumble, but that's it. And it turned out very well. I'm happy with this. Very nice and simple. Hope you guys can accomplish the same in your house. I believe in you guys thoroughly. So now putting this cheese aside we're going to step into the next part of our recipe which is the banana ice cream so using the same blender that we use to blend the almonds I have here about four bananas that I've cut into coins medallions and put into the freezer and now we're just going to pop them into the blender, frozen. And we'll just blend away. So you just want to use a spoon and mix it up every time that it stops catching. And so you just keep blending and mixing and eventually it turns into this eventually it turns into this nice creamy ice cream like texture and it's advised to turn off the blender before putting your spoon in So we're getting there.
So, for me that is perfect, a nice smooth creamy ice cream. So now we'll just plate it in a nice little plate. So you could be nice and fancy with your plating if you like or not. But for the sake of the video I'll make a little quenelle. There we go, and then here I've got just a mix of almonds and peanuts. And I think it will go really nicely with this lovely little simple ice cream. Just sprinkle some on top. And you know, for you Canadians out there, I would definitely put some maple syrup on top of that. I think it would be delicious. But here we are in Peru and maple syrup doesn't really exist. But what does exist is wonderful, raw, pure cacao, which I'm just gonna grate a little bit on top. And that is delicious. There you have it. Banana ice cream, one ingredient. We hope you enjoyed this short video and really wish to encourage you in making your practices an expression of your true self, staying focused and trusting of the process in these times of integration for everyone. Remember, practice putting into practice. We will be with you soon in our next video, P for Prune. We miss having you all and look forward to welcoming you once again.